Okay, you guys were asking for a tutorial on how I build my caves in the new version of Rust. Uh, so I'll start it off exactly how I started my coast base video. This plan is my plan, and it is how I build it if you think it sucks. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to cover up this hole in the side here. Cover that up. Before you go ahead and upgrade, you want to make sure that all the walls can be placed. Uh, so this wall can be placed, so I'm not going to want to do it. This is going to be the weak spot in your base, so you're definitely not going to... You're going to want to make sure it's as strong as it can be. I'm just going to keep placing until... No, don't do that. You don't want to build it too far into the cave. If you build it too far into the cave, then you'll run into issues later on. So you want it to be far enough back. And I mean, this is, it's, you're going to have to farm quite a bit of wood because it's not just as simple as being, oh, I need to place a couple foundations and then that's it. So yeah. you want probably want to have like 5k minimum wood before you're even really going to want to attempt this. I would Okay, so for the sake of saving time, you want to keep placing this until you could put a wall there, but for the sake of saving time, we're going to cheat. You're going to cover this all up, you're not going to upgrade it to sheet metal ever. Make sure it's all rotated the right way. I mean, you could technically put a half slab in here. Felt so inclined. Um, just add another layer of safety. Okay, so now that's covered up. Now you can go ahead and start the front. This is going to be the trickiest part. Uh, once you've done it a couple times, that you'll be able to reproduce it every time. But when you first start and you haven't done it, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So you're going to want to build towards that white point on that rock, but a little bit angled towards the right. Not this severely, but a little bit. So you're going to want to start fairly far back in the cave. You're going to want to line it up with the middle and then rotate it a little bit. You want to go kind of as high as you can. I find it just makes it easiest. Uh, sometimes you won't be able to place this triangle here. If you can't place this triangle, you just need to break it and restart it until you can. Sometimes this triangle will be blue and it still won't let you place it. If that's the case, you, then you just need to replace it and uh, build it again. So you want to step down so you can get it lower. So you're going to have to break that original foundation and place a stair. Once you've done that, you can replace it and carry on. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get to this point is quickly Okay, I need to protect myself and wall off this front. You do not want to do that until you've tested the rest of the cave to see if it's going to work. So once you have this, you're going to want to do this quickly because you have to try and do this all while nothing is here. So you want to place these two squares and then these three, 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 these three triangles. If you can place these two squares and these three triangles, you're good to go. You can now upgrade the front. If for whatever reason you cannot place this triangle here, the biggest causes of not being able to place this triangle will be you didn't start far enough back out of the cave, you, you kind of started too close into the cave, or you rotated too much to the left of this point here that you were aiming towards. Okay, so if that's the case, it's not a big deal. You just break the foundations and you replace them. But that's why you want to have extra wood farmed up so you can mock this up. Um, yeah. So now you're going to wall this in. Okay. So ran into a bit of a problem. So we're going to go ahead and break this. That's another thing you want to look at. You always want to kind of pre-plan ahead to make sure it all works before you upgrade anything because for whatever reason I wasn't able to place those second floor walls. So here's an example of not being able to place that. It's, very nice place. It's, it's totally trial and error until you can get it to where it's going to work. So I'm going to 
try placing these walls to make sure I can place them before I carry on. Um, and place those, so that'll be good. Now I need to do the staircase to make sure I can build to the back. I can still do this. So at this point, now we're good. Now we're good to go. Now you can go ahead and upgrade these. You're never going to build a cave the same way every time. It's just not going to happen. You'll be able to do the same type of idea, but the general flow of the base is going to differ a little bit every single time that you build it. So, so there, at this point, now you're safe and you can kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, but that's the that's the that's the first stage once you're at this stage you're relatively safe you're as safe as anybody else living in a 2x2 two two. Um, obviously you would upgrade this to sheet or armored um, now for the next part this is another very important step you're going to want to place this this for whatever reason it's not letting me place this triangle but this is actually a perfect uh, time for me to show something Triangle floors, for whatever reason, cannot be placed directly off of foundations. I don't know why they're like this, but they are. You can place squares, square floors, directly off of foundations, but not triangle floors. So one way you can get around this, so I, I would like, I want this to be a foundation, but for whatever reason, it just happened to be wherever we built it, it just isn't going to let me place it there. So what you need to do is you need to break this, Place it with a floor. Very finicky sometimes. You're going to replace it with a floor. Then off that floor, because this is a floor now instead of a foundation, you'll be able to place that triangle floor. And you'll destroy this original floor and then place your foundation again. And now nobody will ever know. Normally on bases you wouldn't really want to do stuff like that just because your stability is going to get screwy. But because it's a cave and you're never going to be going really more than two stories anyway, it's not that big of a deal. So now, a lot of you guys if you watch my stream you'll remember that I used to always freehand place that block down there for the staircase. You do not need to do that. I figured out how to do it without doing that. So you're going to want to have your first block, then when you step down, square, have your three triangles that go around, and off of this triangle you're going to do a staircase that goes down, and a triangle, and then another staircase, and then off of that, this would be the block that I would originally have freehand placed. Now it is exactly where it needs to be, and you don't need to freehand place it. Now you can go up top and finish the layout. Not really, there's not really too much to explain, it's just the general layout is going to always be the same. So we ran into another issue where it's not going to let me place it, that's fine, no big deal. I'm just going to destroy this, get the floors, and then remove it, and then replace it with the foundations. If I'm going to be completely honest, these two things here, I have almost never ran into that so it's kind of once in a blue moon it's gonna happen but it's good to know that how to get around that because placing the square floor into a triangle is a very useful building technique that you're gonna need to know okay so now I'm gonna do this if you've never built in a cave this is going to seem very random you can technically upgrade you can technically put these and it's just gonna help stop decaying but uh, yeah, so you're gonna do a square with a triangle. You'll do walls, stairs, and that, that. Just going over this very quickly. You guys can pause the video and all that jazz. But, uh, Obviously everything is going to need to be rotated the right way and all that. This door, I just like leaving rotated that way just because if you rotate it this way you can kind of run into some issues. Um, but actually, can do this. And I want to 
want to be careful that you don't fall down there. If you fall down there, you'll be, you'll be stuck. I'm going to do the same technique here. Be able to get supposed to be like that. And that's just so you don't accidentally fall in that little hole or something. Now at this point, the main layout of the base is pretty much done. It's all symmetrical, looks really good. You can go ahead and airlock this more. Preferably not place the blocks wrong. So you airlock that. Go ahead and put a ramp there and airlock it even more. I ran into this issue once before. Again, this is a very rare issue when this happens and you're unable to place that. If it does happen, it's not really the end of the world. You can just go ahead and do something like this. And just airlock it like that. It doesn't look as nice, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta improvise with caves because for whatever reason, clips too much into the rock or whatever, it doesn't want to let me place that. And even though I can place it there, I can't place it here. You go as far as to like put this here. Uh, you probably won't be able to place a door because it's too close to the rock, but I probably would leave that because you're going to want to be able to upgrade the, or uh, repair the foundation. You want to leave as many foundations as possible accessible so that way you can repair them. Uh, but at this point, you can leave this as a big open room if you want. You can airlock it even more. I mean, you could have even more layers that they have to go through to even get to this point and have your loot in here. All this door will do is uh, give you access to the upper area here. So you'll go and fill all this in. Square floors can hardly clip through rocks or else you won't be able to place them, so in stuff like this, it's going to look ugly, and I don't like doing it any more than you do, but you're going to end up having little holes like that, and then it's just, there's nothing you can do to get around it. So there you go. Put the door there. Wall there. Open this up. There you have it, that's just the basic layout. These are totally optional. You don't need to add these in here. This is going to make the roof collapse probably, but... Totally not necessary to have those. I usually just leave it open so we can have a nice loot room. So now to go deeper into the base, you just go down here, you have a nice staircase. This is the one tricky part that is just kind of sometimes annoying sometimes it's sometimes you bait you make it and you can just walk around other times you kind of have to do this awkward little jump it's just one of those things that unfortunately you're just gonna have to deal with and then yeah this piece back here you want to build this foundation right here and you're gonna want to wall that because if anyone gets into here you don't want them to just freely have access to down there now when this is all upgraded, you have your little you can have a little sleeping bag room here. Uh, you can you can dense this off if you wanted to put a cupboard in here and then block it off with a foundation so nobody can get access to it. You can do that. Uh, the top part of the base is pretty much set in stone how I build it. I always build it the exact same way and it always works out for me. The lower part is where it's going to vary and I personally haven't found a way that I've been able to replicate every single time but the top half is always going to be the same and the lower half you can do your own little design if I find a plan that I know works and you can replicate every time then I'll upload another video for you guys but uh, for the time being this has been just a quick video not really quick 15 minute tutorial showing you guys how I do my cave bases Seems a lot of people in the stream have been asking uh, if I could upload a video. 